To create a new case in Orpheus, start by clicking the Create Case button in the top left of the main menu. This will take you to a screen where you can type in the information for the case, and then a search will be done to try to find the best match to see if this person already exists. For example, if I type in Robert Smith, I don't know the date of birth, but I know he's a male, has a case of Salmonella, and the case is a confirmed case, because we have a lab report. I could type in the address, 123 South Main Street, 97201, which automatically then looks up the uh, city and county, and then click Create Case. This will trigger a search after warning me about the date of birth being missing, and see if it can find anybody that might match the Robert Smith that I entered. So it finds Roberto Smith, it finds Roger Smith, which just starts with R. Smith, and some other names that are kind of close, but none of them are really the exact person that I'm looking for. So if I, I could choose basically a few different options here. So if I decide that one of these people is the person who I was looking for, then I can actually just click the Create Case for This Person button, and that would create the case for the person on that particular line. I can also look up the details, like if I think this particular Roberto Smith might be the one I'm looking for, this will pop up that person's details in a new window. And if I know that none of them is the person I'm looking for, I click Ignore These Matches and Create a New Case. I'm going to go ahead and click that now. It confirms that with me. And then a new case record is created with all the information that I entered. Notice that I did not enter the date of birth. If I then look at the form again, I notice the date of birth is actually um, 1 15 1970 I can go ahead and enter that in now and then it will calculate the date of birth and the age of that person so from here we're at the case entry and we can go through all the different tabs here for the different aspects of the case so all the demographics go here um, language spoken um, race and ethnicity are here we can also enter the subtype if we know the subtype of salmonella this lists all the salmonella subtypes here so if I know it's typhi. Enter the onset date if it's known. Otherwise, notice that the onset date is imputed up here. We can tell it's imputed, and that means calculated, because we see the little tilde here. If we say that we know the onset date is actually 9-5, I can type that in, and that will uh, go ahead and enter the date. Anytime you see the little calendar icon here, you click on that, and it will show you a little calendar widget of dates that you can select, and you can navigate from month to month and just click the specific day. To enter a lab report, we click over to the lab tab and click create specimen. And then we can enter the uh, name of the lab and the results of the lab. So we can say it's uh, maybe we had a, a test on 9-5 and it was a positive result. And that just gets entered and we can have multiple lab tests on here. Risk questionnaires can be done by clicking the Ask Risk Questions in the top right corner from the lab from the Risks tab. And this will take th uh, you through a questionnaire that's designed to be used on when you're on the phone with the uh, patient. So you can, you know, ask these questions in a specific order. And it gives you like a little um, walkthrough of exactly how to ask them. Some questions like travel, if you answer yes to, can actually pop up a new window to say, oh, well, where did you travel to? And then you can say, I went to Mexico, <clears throat> and then enter where in Mexico. And then when you're done, you just close this window. <clears throat> you can also skip specifically to a question. So if you go to the bottled water question, you can click right to this and say yes. If you want to um, <clears throat> put notes in on a question, you can click back to it, and you can enter notes down here in the bottom. If you've got more detail about anything. And when you're, when you're at the very last question on the list and you answer it, then the questionnaire will automatically close itself. But you can also just close it by clicking the close box in the corner here. When you've completed an interview, it's a good idea to go ahead and choose that you actually did do the interview and enter the date that you did it. Again, if you click on the little calendar icon, the, the current day's date is always selected. And so you can just click on that, which makes it easy. The method of, of uh, asking clinical questions and also follow-up questions is exactly the same 
as doing the risk questionnaire. So you just click the little button in the top right corner and it walks you through the questions for those things. One of the other things that's important to do is, um, is list the reporter of the case. So if we go to the top right of the basics tab here, we can click on this add and this comes up with a list of all the different doctors who are associated with the case. We can also search on this by typing in Smith and that will give me a list of all the doctors with the name Smith or if we're looking for a clinic or something with a name um, you can type in parts of the name like for example Multnomah Clinic we can just type in Mult Clinic and that comes in and then once you find the thing you're looking for you can just click on it and it adds that particular line to the provider and the same exact thing for adding a doctor so if I say uh, Hamilton Judith is the doctor I can just click on that one and Judith comes in as a doc to add a note to the case you can just click here in the add a quick note box and start typing something when you're done you can just hit enter and that will automatically add the note to the history contact tracing is done by clicking to the contacts tab and this actually uses the same database of people that the case is based on so to enter a contact if for example you want to enter Robert Smith's wife in here whose name is Mary Smith you could put that information in and if you happen to know her birthday you should put that in as well and then that will do a search again just like we saw before and it actually finds that Mary Smith there is a Mary Smith with that exact birth date in the database and so if we choose that one that actually will will pick that record and then that person gets linked and then you can add multiple contacts in this same way also directly from the contact record you can click this show person button and this will open up a new window and show you all the details for Mary Smith uh, including which cases she has so we, we can actually see there was a previous case of Salmonella for Mary Smith and uh, that might be instructive that might be actually how Robert Smith got Salmonella in this particular case and we can also see that Mary has been named as a contact on several other cases of disease some of these are totally different diseases like TB down here and then when we're done we can just close this window here by clicking the close box in the corner similarly to the show person on each individual contact line we can also go back to the basics tab and we can look at the contact detail information for Robert Smith by clicking on this person button here in this case it lists that Robert has a specific case one case of salmonella and also it lists that he's been named as a contact on Mary Smith's case of salmonella so we can see both things have happened there and that's basically it for the basic data entry